The minority leader Haruna Idrisu at a post-budget workshop in Ho told the finance minister that the minority has lots of concerns about the budget he presented on Thursday, November 24. He first touched on the freeze on employment in the public sector, urging the minister to be definite. The finance minister in the budget presentation said there will be room for employment in very critical cases, but this the Tamale South NP said could open an opportunity for abuse. Haruna Idrisu added the minority will question the budgetary allocation made towards the construction of the National Cathedral. When you make a budgetary allocation for the construction of a National Cathedral at 80 million Ghana cities, we share that will ask what is the total cost of that project? How were procurements undertaken to assure value for money? What is the duration of the project? How much will it cost the state? And when will the project be completed? These are needful answers we will ask. Another issue the minority says it will scrutinize will be the 2.5% value-added tax increment, which he argued is a disincentive to businesses. The minority leader, however, told the finance minister his side will support him cut down on imports, but questioned how government intends to achieve that. The international best practice for investment in agriculture is 10% of GDP. How have we fared? And how has Parliament fared even in monitoring allocation to the agricultural sector? You are talking about 110,000 hectares of rice. We can do more than that. And Ghana can produce rice in sufficient quantities to feed itself. No farmer today can afford a tractor, and no farmer today can afford a combined harvester as it current rates. Therefore, modernize and mechanized agriculture, largely supported by the state and government, is necessary and eminent. The Tamale South NP lamented how the president and the finance minister had different views on haircuts. When the president was emphatic with the words, there would be no haircut. And now we hear you, Honorable Minister, present the budget in accord with Article 179 of our Constitution on behalf of the same president. We are now hearing you about a debt exchange program, which at best or synonymously will mean a higher cut. Haruna Idrisu stated that there is a gradual erosion of public faith in politicians and urged government to walk the talk. Evelyn Tinkma, TV3 News, Accra.